Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will be working on a highly detailed illustration piece based around a dystopian fantasy love story. Although the two characters being portrayed come from worlds apart, they're aligned in the universe to one day cross paths. In the year 2057, the world had changed beyond recognition. The planet had been ravaged by global warming, natural disasters, wars and gender dysphoria. The governments had crumbled and corporations had taken over, creating a new world order that was ruled by greed, power, artificial intelligence and NFTs. The dragon in her five inch heels was a scientist who worked for one of the biggest corporations in the world. Her job was to develop new technologies that would help the company gain more control over the people. She was brilliant and her work had made her one of the most valuable assets to the corporation. One day, the dragon was working on a new project that involved developing a device that could read people's minds. The device was intended to be used for security purposes but the dragon knew that it could also be used for more sinister reasons. She was torn between her loyalty to the corporation and her consciousness. As the dragon was working on the device, she met the donkey, a sleeping tiger, a rebel who was fighting against the corporations. He was handsome, intelligent and had a way of making her feel alive. They met by chance in a coffee shop near her lab. For the donkey, this was the safest place to connect to the Matrix, and their connection was instant, or was it the universe's work at play? The donkey had been working with a group of rebels who were fighting to take down the corporations. They believed that the corporations were responsible for the world's problems, and they were determined to bring them down. The dragon was conflicted. She was attracted to the donkey, but she knew that if she got involved with him, it could jeopardize her job and her safety. But she couldn't resist the pull she felt towards him, and soon they were spending all their free time together, like turtles being pulled together by the air's magnetic field force. As the dragon and the donkey spent more time together, she began to see the world through his eyes. She saw the suffering of the people, and the corruption of the corporations. She realised that her work was contributing to the oppression of the people and she wanted to make a change. The donkey and his group of rebels were planning an attack on the corporations the dragon worked for. They wanted to destroy the device that she had been working on as they believed it would be used to control the people's thoughts and emotions. The dragon was torn. She knew that the device was dangerous but she didn't want to see it destroyed. She knew that it could be used for good, but she also knew that it could be used for evil. On the day of the attack, the dragon found herself torn between her loyalty to the corporation and her love for the donkey. She knew that if she helped the donkey, she would be betraying the corporation and risking her life. But she also knew that if she didn't help him, she would be betraying her consciousness and love for him. In the end, the dragon chose to help the donkey. Together they infiltrated the corporation and destroyed the device. The attack was successful, but the dragon knew that they would never be able to go back to their own lives. As they escaped the corporation, the dragon and the donkey realized that they were in love. They knew that their love was dangerous, but they couldn't resist the pull they felt towards each other. They ran away together, leaving behind their old lives and their old selves. They knew that the world was a dangerous place, but they also knew that they had each other. And with that, they started a new life together, a life filled with love, danger and uncertainty. But they were together, and that was all that mattered.
so guys i really hope you enjoyed my little dystopian futuristic fantasy love story i really put a lot of work into this illustration and yeah it's it's such a fantastic piece of work and i'm really really happy with the end results and if you're new to the channel please give us a subscribe this really gives me that drive to produce more videos and it really helps with my confidence so big thanks to everyone for taking the time out to watch the video hopefully i'll be able to upload a new one now soon enough uh, once i get my studio fully set up and i'm just waiting on the wi-fi to be installed well take care everyone much love and i'll see you all in the next video